Right now, the behind-the-scenes team at the Cincinnati Opera is hard at work at Music Hall, transforming dozens of performers for the opening night of Carmen. Nine on your side's Catherine Nero shows us a first-hand look at the whole process and gets a little transformation of her own. Now to that breaking news. We've been this is how most of you know me, anchoring with Chris Riva on Good Morning Tri-State. A performer, not even close. This may be the closest I get. Cincinnati Opera took us backstage to show us what its very talented performers go through every night before they ever set foot on stage. You know, even though you do Carmen over and over again, it's never the same. The opera's makeup and hair designer is James Geyer. He is responsible for the onstage look of more than 100 men, women, and children in Carmen. As far as principal artists, you know, the stars, the main characters, um, my assistant and I do five each before curtain, so we start two hours before curtain. That means pin curls, a wig cap, makeup, and being fitted for a hand knotted wig. Yeah, kind of look like a Kardashian. But what seems like heavy makeup up close has to play to the patron in the last seat in Music Hall. Now off to wardrobe. Come on back with me. Right. Carmen is the story of a gypsy, and Diana Adams and her team create and collect costumes and jewelry carefully chosen after meetings with the opera's director <laughs> to reflect the period and the story perfectly. <laughs> is a very grand opera and Carmen is a great first opera because you will know so many of the songs without even expecting it. I think you could fit in. <laughs> I think I'll leave that to the professionals. Carmen opens tonight with three more performances through next weekend. Catherine Nero, nine on your side.